Hey guys, it's Magaz here. I'm bringing you a gear review, a review of something that I'm really excited about. Something that I've wanted for a long time, but have always been put off by the price point. Now, not to bury the lead, I think the price is totally worth it based on the quality of this piece of kit and the fact that it means I don't have to take seven bags to a game with me anymore. And I can also use it in my professional career as a photographer for carrying all my lighting gear around. So it's, it's paying for itself if you think about it. Anyway, what we're taking a look at today is the 511 cams or carry all my shit or stuff if you want to censor it and be politically correct. But yeah, this is a 40 inch, eight and a half kilogram massive kit bag. It's a rolling duffel, I believe they call it, made out of 1800 denier Cordura fabric. It does exactly everything that it says on the tin. It carries all your stuff. The exterior of the cams is absolutely rock solid. Every corner is armored with plastic covers, so you're not gonna ding your bag up. The ends, rock solid as well. They've got reinforcement inside. There's bumpers on every corner that you can want. It does have these little stand-up legs, so if you do stand it on its end, it's got these little feet that it can rest on. These are replaceable. If they're damaged, you can unscrew them and get a replacement from 511 and throw it back on there. It has some very large, heavy-duty wheels at the bottom. The wheels and the wheel mounts are, like the bumpers, replaceable if they get damaged, which is great because there's nothing worse than having a, a bag that has wheels on it or is supposed to have wheels on it. One of your wheels breaks and then you can't drag it. It basically kills the whole bag. 511 have thought about this and having them as replaceable parts is spot on. The bottom of the bag, you've got some skid rails, which are great for protecting the bottom of the case, which is also reinforced with some kind of plastic inside, which is great because we'll get onto what this part holds in a minute. For carrying the bag, you have a big center strap, which is one and a half inch webbing with a big heavy duty handle up there. It opens up with Velcro like you'd expect. Either end has a retractable grip strap. Uh, they're elasticated, so when you let go, they do kind of suck back in, which is pretty good because you don't want big floppy straps dangling and snagging on everything. You want to be able to keep your stuff nice and cinched in. The top end of this bag has another one of these straps, uh, but it, it basically puts your hand in a better position for if you are dragging it along with the wheels. There's also one of the little compression strap up here. On top, you have two compression straps, which are great for actually, like the name says, compressing the, the luggage size. Or if you've got a rifle bag or a rifle case or some other piece of luggage you want to store on top, while you're dragging it, you can cinch it down with these. Both sides of the bag have Velcro panels. This one has a square panel here. This side has a square panel here, which I've got a ICS Captain patch on and a long name tape panel. Both sides also have name tapes you can write on with a Sharpie and this side also has that business card sized holder. Up top, you've got two A4 sized document pouches. I've got a flag in this one just here. But you can see big strong YKK zippers. If you're traveling and you've got flight documents, it might be a good spot to put it. You can see it and get to it easily. All the zippers on this are heavy duty YKK and any pouch that has two zippers on it where they meet, they are in fact lockable. That's great because this is probably kind of aimed at police officers or military. People who have kit that civilians might not be allowed to get their hands on and you want to deter people from stealing that stuff. So being able to lock all of your compartments is absolutely impressive. Especially given as the bottom pouch on this is a rifle case. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll go from top to bottom on all of these pouches. Starting from the side closer to the camera, you have a large compartment that runs the length of the bag. It's about wrist deep and it runs the entire length. Really useful size compartment. I was kind of hoping you'd be able to fit a rifle in there. You might be able to fit a shotgun or a really short rifle in there, but I don't think you'd be able to fit an AR or anything in there. In front of that are your three standard pouches. These can each hold 10 full-sized AR 30 round magazines. Uh, I've tried, it works. The interior is padded on the outside, which is great, so you don't want your, your stuff getting bumped and mostly water resistant, which you'd expect from a, a Cordura bag. 
Again, all three of these lockable pouches. Spin it around to this side. Over here, you have two larger pouches on this side, exactly the same setup as the three on this side, but they're just slightly bigger and there's only two of them. So that's everything on the exterior. Let's open this bad boy up and take a look at what you're all keen for peeing to see. I'll do the straps, I'll do the compression straps. Big YKK zipper, this opens nice and wide. First of all, the interior is actually braced by two carbon fiber rods that when they arrived, they were loose and you can just strap them in. The interior is all Velcro lined and it comes with these separators, which are again, Velcro on the end. So you can actually set it up with compartment spaces for the size of whatever items you want to keep in there. I've got mine set up so I can put my plate carrier down this end, my helmet up this end, and any other loose kit like my, I've got plastic boxes that I keep my camera gear in, and then ammo and gas and just general peripherals can fit in here. You notice as well that both sides are completely molly looped, which is great if you've got any mag pouches or first aid kit or anything like that that attaches to molly. You can actually organize the inside of your, your bag a lot better. I'm gonna get a couple of small pouches to go in here for things like my, my wallet, my phone, and important stuff that I don't really want on the outside, but keeping them hidden away in an extra pouch on the inside, probably a wise idea. The interior of this bag is the main selling point. It is absolutely massive, it is modular, and you can fit five or six full-size ARs in there if you so choose. On the subject of carrying a rifle in this, if we zip this bad boy back up, and unzip this top compartment like this. The zip runs all the way along. There are also two compression straps. Top folds open like this and you have a full length rifle case. You can see just here, this is a full length AR. Well, pretty much full length. It fits with room to spare. You can fit a Mark 12 Mod Zero in here if it's got a retractable stock, which is one of the rifles that I'll be carrying in this, which is great. You can fit three or four rifles in here without a push. Coming down to the studio today to review this, I had this rifle, two light stands, and a tripod in here with room to spare. Inside as well, there are two compression or retention straps to make sure your rifle doesn't go AWOL. There you go. Keep it nice and tidy. Underneath is padded with a thin piece of foam. You can probably replace that if you so wish. It's an easy job to do, you just unzip the bottom and you can take that out and put some thicker foam in there and probably around the edges. There's no padding on the inside on the edges, it's just the plastic. The wheels do actually stick into this lower part so you can't fit certain cases. I've heard people complain that you can't fit pelly cases in here of a certain length. It's not that big a deal for me, I'll actually throw my rifle in here loose like this anyway. So. I may actually get some extra foam for the bottom and an extra layer underneath. It's not something that's a necessity because, I mean, it's safe enough in there as it is if it's strapped down and you're not throwing it down some stairs. It should be all right. You can also actually remove or replace the plastic reinforcement that makes the base of the top pouch solid. I open this Velcro here and pulling it out. So if that cracks or gets damaged in any way, you can just pull it out and probably pick up a replacement from somewhere or fashion something yourself. So basically anything that could break on this bag is replaceable, which is absolutely fantastic. So there we go, that's all of the features of the CAMS 3.0. Now, the pros and cons of this bag, it is massively heavy without anything in it, coming in at about eight and a bit kilograms. If you are gonna use this on a plane, you're gonna to have to get extra baggage allowance because if you've only got 20 kilogram of baggage and half of that is taken up by your bag, it's not ideal. But if you're just using it to get to and from events or to keep a load out in your boot, your car or whatever, it's ideal. It's mostly water resistant, it's tough, it's durable, it's built like a brick shit house and it can carry rifles and all of your kit. What more do I need to say? If you're like me and you previously used to carry a rifle case, a massive hold all, a rucksack, a carrier bag full of snacks and a helmet just loose and then your body armor, just all this shit, 
to get to one event and you wanna compress all that down into one easy, really nice looking piece of kit, then the CAMS 3.0 is probably ideal for you. That being said, it does come in at about 310 to 350 quid, depending on where you pick it up from. It's a very expensive piece of kit, but the way I see it, it's an investment. This is gonna last a very long time. It's gonna be useful for playing airsoft, playing paintball, playing combat sports like what we do, or military, law enforcement, and also creatives like myself. Like I mentioned earlier, as a photographer, this is ideal if I wanna take my lighting rig out. I can throw a couple of lighting heads in here, light stands, background stands, tripod underneath. I can even throw a couple of lighting heads and a camera bag in here. So I've got the entire thing in one bag. It is ideal. So it's not just for people into the shooting sports and the shooting scene. It's great for carrying all of your shit. So there we go. The CAMS 3.0 definitely gets the Magaz seal of approval. Very glad that I finally bit the bullet and picked this thing up because it's absolutely outstanding. If you've got any questions about it, leave them down in the comments below. If you want to see more gear reviews, there's a playlist in the end cards of all of the bags and kit that I've reviewed over the years. Definitely check that out because there's some diamonds in there and some dog shit as well. That's it. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell because we all know how that bullshit works these days. Thanks for watching. I'm Magaz and remember kids, the air may be soft, but our boys are hard.